Hi, thank you for signing up for Driver Files Online. I just wanted to take this opportunity to present a few tips and tricks to you for making the maneuvering around the dashboard a little bit easier. Also give you some tips on how to upload some other files and forms and things like that. Um, first thing I'd like to do is kind of tell you a little bit about the dashboard. This is going to be your company dashboard that you will always be logging into. And if you notice up in the blue box to the top left corner, you'll see new applications. You'll see expiring licenses, expiring medical cards, annual records and reviews, and also the current balance on your account. Those blocks are, you are able to click on them and take you to that specific area such as the expiring medical card whose medical cards are getting ready to expire. So everything on this dashboard is um, in a click mode where you can access it by just hoovering over it, dashboard and the tour of it. You can click on any of the items that are listed on here. If you notice to the left, you have dashboard, you have drivers, and when you expand the drivers tab, you get add a new driver, all drivers, active drivers, pending employment, new application, rejected applicants, and inactive drivers. Those are going to be all of your drivers in there. Um, when you click on all drivers, you're going to bring up every single driver, such as the active drivers, pending, who's in a new application, and inactive drivers. The first thing I wanted to do is review the application. So when you have a new driver, we're going to click on to do is click on your new application that you've received. And you want to make sure you review it for any inaccuracies or um, lack of information. And when I say lack of information, a couple of things you want to pay close attention to on the application are the experience, you want to make sure the driver lists his experience. If he's driven a tractor trailer, he's obviously going to put yes. He's going to put the date from and the date to. Now the date to, he can put in the date he's filling out the application if he's still currently driving a tractor trailer. And the approximate miles that he's driven it, for example, 200,000 miles. It doesn't have to be the exact number of miles, but an approximate. So when you look at the reapplication, you definitely want to look at this box and make sure everything is filled in. Second thing you want to look at is the employment record, the previous three years. DOT requires if a driver has been a driver for three or more years that they not only put their complete employment for three years, but they also list an additional seven years if they were a driver. So you want to make sure that the driver puts this in their complete. If the driver does only have one list, one job, then you're going to want to reject that application and request more employment from the driver. This is very important. DOT really looks at these applications and wants to make sure that everything is filled out completely. This becomes particularly important whenever you're moving the driver to pending. Once you take this driver from a new application to pending, you cannot move it back to application status. So it's really important that you review everything on the application before you move it to pending. Otherwise, there's no going back and having the driver correct it. Where you want to make all your corrections is when the driver's in application status. This is where you are able to reject the application and send it back to the driver so he can correct whatever needs to be fixed. Custom driver alerts. This will become particularly important if you have drivers who have other responsibilities outside of DOT, such as hazmat training, OSHA training, any type of homeland security or background checks, any other additional dates that you need to be reminded of. Maybe the driver has to do a certain training for the county that you live in, or maybe there's an OSHA training that he has to participate in. These custom alerts come in very, very handy. The system will create custom alerts automatically for the medical card expiring, the CDL expiring, and the annual reviews. But what it doesn't do is create your custom alerts automatically. You're going to have to manually do those. It's my suggestion when you go on and sign up your account, you create those custom driver reminders right away and list them on there, save them. And whenever you go to qualify your driver and make him an active driver, then you make sure you click on that tab and put the date of the reminder that you want to be alerted on. The next trick I'd like to show you is how to complete a custom report for your drivers. There's many report search engines that you can do. 
this one's going to be most beneficial to you. There's sometimes you're going to want to generate a report of all of your active drivers and see when the annual reviews are due, when their license is expiring, and their medical card. If you look at this screen here and you go to the left underneath the dashboard and the driver tab, you're going to see all drivers once you expand that drivers tab. I want you to click on all drivers and then you'll notice all of the drivers come up including inactive, active, pending and that's okay. What you want to do now is if you notice the tab that says drivers list right underneath all drivers you're going to click on the search button that's next to it or the search tab. Once you expand that search tab you're going to see a search list engine that you can run various reports on in order to get the report that we were just talking about and generate the general report, all you have to do is click on where it says driver status. You want to click on active. Then you'll scroll all the way down to the bottom and hit save and search and it'll create your custom report. Once you create and generate the report, it's going to look like this. As you notice, we have all of the active drivers listed. We have the license number, we have the license expiration, medical card, annual review. This is the report that you're going to want to generate periodically if you have a lot of drivers just so you don't have to keep going to screen to screen to screen. So this will be a really nice report for your, your administrative staff and you can pass that out so they're prepared for upcoming expiration dates. The next tip I want to share with you is the file browser tab. The File Browser tab can really be used if you want to upload anything additional, any documents additional to what's required of DOT. If you notice, it is the fourth tab over on the Drivers Dashboard. And what I want you to do is click on the File Browser, and you're going to get a drop-down window that looks like this. If you notice to the far right, you see a tab that says Upload File. I want you to click on the Upload File. Once you click on that, upload file, you get pre-populated titles of what document you want to upload. If you notice right in the middle is a tab called miscellaneous. A lot of times I see companies who hire owner operators use this miscellaneous tab to upload any lease agreements, to upload any of the driver's insurance. You could also use it to upload their, their tax forms, their W-9s, 1099s any other additional document that's not really required by TOT, however you want to retain it in the system and have it available, definitely upload it using the miscellaneous tab. And what you'll do is you'll click on the miscellaneous tab, put in the date. For file description, you could put lease agreement, expires 217, uploaded by John Smith, and then you'll choose where the file's located and you'll upload it. If you notice then, if you go back to your file browser, your miscellaneous document is going to be right there under file browser. All of the documents that you have located in this driver's files are going to be right here. You can delete it, you can download it, you can view it from here, but the file will always be there. It's a great way to incorporate the DOT driver file with the personnel file. However, only the items that are required for DOT are kept under the Driver Qualification tab.